Some people say that the first 10 years of our professional career affects our financial well-being for the rest of our lives. They build a solid foundation for the next decade, help us build confidence and a good attitude towards life and future challenges. Controlling personal finances doesn't mean that you have to start saving money now for you to use when you are 50. It means that even if you don't have a lot of money, your financial behaviours will become habits. If you are good at managing 200 euro, it is likely that you will be good at managing 20,000 euro. On the other hand, if you are falling into debt now, you will probably continue doing so even if your income increases. This is the basic rule of personal finances. It's obvious. But what does it really mean? It means that if you don't spend every penny you earn, you can increase your financial safety and save money to fulfil your dreams and passions. It also means that if you spend more than you earn, for example using a credit card, you'll continue to get into debt and become financially insecure. According to this formula, there are general rules of financial well-being. Increasing your income, controlling your expenses, avoiding debts and multiplying the money you saved. Here are some further tips for how to start managing your money. Move out of your parents' house or at least have separate budgets. The sooner you become independent, the sooner you'll know the cost of real life and will start to respect your money more. Start your first job as soon as possible. Don't confuse income with assets. The truth is, it doesn't matter how much you earn if you spend everything. In that case, you're just a middleman passing all your money along. Choose your financial tools wisely. The first tool will be, or already is, a bank account. With time, you should get interested in investment tools. The general principle is spend time to learn about the tools and choose the best for you. Recommendations are good in this case too. Get rid of loans and debts if you have any. In some cases, loans and mortgages are reasonable options, but a credit to buy new clothes rarely is. Be free and independent. Expensive gadgets are great, but only if you can afford them. Don't buy expensive toys unless you have the money for them. If you really care about it, focus on earning and saving money to buy them. Start saving money. For adults, it's usually recommended to have savings that equal three to six times of your monthly income. It makes people more confident and not afraid of having a new job or starting a new business. For you, it might be a small amount. Just prove to yourself that you're capable of not spending everything. The rest is simple. This feeling is addictive. Learn how to invest, but only if you have some money to invest. There's a chance that at the beginning you might lose some of it. Don't forget to invest in emotions, memories and self-development. The scope of this lesson doesn't even cover the basics of managing your money. If you want to control your budget better, here are some great sources of financial knowledge. Talking to experienced people, reading books and blogs, attending training, or playing financial-based games. Mm -hmm.